Hey everyone, Cabs here. Um, this video is going to talk about an article we saw on IGN that came out around March 14th, um, depicting whether this specific Resident Evil should not be remade. The article is alluding to basically Resident Evil 5. Um, Resident Evil 5 is one of the best selling Resident Evils to date. Um, I think that's surpassed by seven or eight right now. But our main topic today, what we want to talk about from a black perspective, we saw a lot of perspectives online from very well meaning. <laughs> non-melanated <laughs> individuals but we're here to kind of give our take on it um and explain our love for the series our love for resident Evil 5 and our love for sheva alomar and seeing whether her role could be expanded possibly either in the remake or any subsequent sequels um of resident Evil 5. i'm joined here by my sister from the citrus scale aka goose say hi goose hey <laughs> she's going to give her take on it um so what i'm basically going to do is like kind of give just a general outline of like the article. I'm not going to give like all the bit, little bit tidbits of it. Basically, uh, the article talked about Resident Evil Five is racist because you see a white man going into Africa, shooting all these black people, um, taking all their jewels when he, when they die, um, and you, the post-colonial imagery that's in Resident Evil Five. You see the zombies or Majini as they're called in traditional um, African garb, um, and you're shooting them. They're having pitchforks and uh bone masks and stuff like that and they alluded to like this is incredibly problematic it needs to be rewritten and um quite possibly it's one of the worst resident evils because it was barring a lot of its aesthetic and elements from traditional first person shooters of its day call of duty uh halo where basically you're going down a hall mowing down zombies or you're mowing down enemies in a corridor like England. so a lot of those environments weren't very imaginative compared to previous resident evils I agree and disagree, but that's not why we're doing this video. We're doing this video because we feel that Resident Evil 5 is not racist. <laughs> In the context of what the story is about, Resident Evil 5 depicts an organization, several organizations, Umbrella and Tricell, going into war-torn areas, harboring their civilians to either work for their corporation or do testing on the corporation. Um, and then you're watching... Chris's team, the BSAA, respond to that in terms of stopping that information, stopping that influence of Tricell and Umbrella from taking over Africa with this new virus. Um, are you shooting black people? Yes, you're shooting black people because it's Africa. Um, and could you possibly tell Resident Evil 5 with removing that African element? No, but you could recontextualize it. You could rewrite it in a way where it's not only honoring the country and where you are, you know, doing your campaign, but also giving more life and more flesh to some of the characters, Sheva Alomar and Josh, um, who are supporting characters with Chris Redfield in the story. Um, Sheva Alomar to me is like probably not only because she's black, she's like one of the best supporting characters in Resident Evil. She does not take Chris's shit. She's there to support not only her P BSA branch, but she's also to support Chris to help him get through his PTSD, get through his issues of losing his partner uh, to the legendary Wesker. Um, so she's there not only as a supporting character, she's there to drive the story forward. She's an active participant in the story. And she's one of the only few members within the Resident Evil timeline to successfully kill <laughs> the legendary Wesker. So there's so much more that can be told. Some of the things that I love about, I'll just discuss like some of the things I liked about Sheva, some of the things I like about Resident Evil 5, and then we'll kind of wrap up with like our closing. But like the reason why I like Sheva, Sheva um, as black people as we are, we don't really see a lot of us on screen. Mm -hmm. Usually it's in football games. Doing uh, not football, uh, sports. Variety of sports games. Um, usually we're like either the baddie or we're a supporting character. We, we're not showing a lot. Um, the only prominent game I remember where I was a black person for most of the game was Grand Theft Auto San Andreas and the Suffering series. Um, those are the ones that just stick out to me back in the day. Um, there's more. There's more. But those two games where they built a game around that black protagonist meant a lot to me and to, and to, and to my sister. Um, and then seeing Barrett um, in Final Fantasy VII and something that we have never seen before in an RPG. So having Sheva fighting alongside the legendary Chris 
and being the only one to successfully take down Wesker, the only two pair to successfully oh. take down Wesker. That's inspiring. That's inspiring to see. That's inspiring to play. Um, and I want to see more of Eleanor. She should be in more games. You know, we should not have so much Rebecca. We should kind of give Leon a break. <laughs> we should kind of include Claire. Maybe have an all girl group of like Claire, Sheva, Jill, you know, just them just taking on shit. Like, I mean, there's so many possibilities like the series can go and they just, I, w- I would hope that they explore that. The also reason why I like Resident Evil 5 is it has some of the best cinematography in a mm-hmm. Resident Evil that I've ever seen. Like a lot of the shots, a lot of the art direction. I mean, people give it shit for its like brownish look. But like Excella Guillaume, like her design, like it looks very 1960s Italian Vogue type. Like I, I like her design. I like her character. She's very sassy. She's very full of herself. She was trying her best to win over Wesker. And it didn't. And she quite, did. And she did. She did. And she did. <laughs> but, but, but Wesker had his own plans in mind uh, for her. Um, I like the new Jill redesign. I didn't like the blonde hair too much. She looked very sickly and stuff like that. But I like. What they did for her they made her into like this terminator type person and it spurned chris to kind of like figure out like what happened like did you die what 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 happened what's going on with you and Sheva being the only person saying like chris we're gonna we're gonna fix this calm the fuck down we're gonna fix this but we gotta do it together you know and kind of calming him down and being an anchor for him in place of jill so Sheva played an integral and including josh too josh was there backing them all up he's the best pilot um and in the in the group and he actually saved it he actually came in brought them their you know rocket launchers at the end to you know take down wesker so there's so many great moments within resident evil 5 and for this reviewer and ign to post what they post i i understand a little bit what they said but i don't think it's in nowhere no way a bad game it's a divergence from what resident evil 4 did it's a natural progression like it's literally resident evil 4 set the the new new tone new stage of how resident evils will play on and I think Resident Evil 5 was a big contributor in that. Not, not just 4, but Resident Evil 5. Resi- without Resident Evil 5, I'm pretty sure we would not have Resident Evil 6. We'd not have Resident Evil 7, 8, and all the subsequent remakes. Because that game sold so well about Resident Evil. If they do it in a remake, a la Resident Evil 4. Um, and I feel giving it another shot, Capcom giving it another shot, would do wonders for that series. Now I'm going to shut up for right now. I'm going to pass it off to Goose um, to give her perspective on um that comment on the article and her thoughts on Resident Evil 5 and Resident Evil as a, as a genre. Hi. Hello. It's me, Goose. Ah, yes. <laughs> ah, Resident Evil 5. My my problem child of the series. It has it, always had uh, its critics and with good reason. There's definitely smoke and fire in with a lot of people's complaints of Resident Evil 5. There was, they were valid back then in 2009 as they are valid now. Um, my stance has been since Resident Evil 5 came out and currently with discussions going on there is that no i do not think resident evil 5 is racist um i am not going to stand here and be the arbiter on what is or isn't racist uh or tell anybody that they should not be offended if you are offended by the depictions in resident evil 5 that's completely valid i think that's completely fair i am speaking from my perspective and although i am not in africa or african i am a black american uh woman in the south (laughs) playing video games with my brother so that's where my experience comes from and that's where i'm gonna speak from i'm not gonna speak from anybody else um but my stance point is that resident evil 5 is not racist it's just problematic that's our favorite word our favorite word is it's problematic there have been much value on the depictions of the magini uh, especially that those portion of the game where you're going to the village in the swampy, in the marshy region, and they're all wearing the tribal wear and the tribal costumes, and you're shooting them down. They stay in the game while you're playing that part of the section that the youth uh, that was part of those that you know was a portion that was succumbs to whatever blaga thing that was going on, said that they were in the middle of festival day. They were going to honor their ancestors before everything went to shit. So there is an in more explanation on why these people are wearing these particular costumes. Is it flimsy? Yes, but it is an explanation on why they're wearing the costumes. But they are aware of those changes. They are aware of what they made. And Capcom of now is not the same as Capcom of 2009. Capcom of now has become, uh, has, has well, always been, but now they're in a stronger position than they are, they are currently, much more global 
currently than they have been in generations since. I think this is the strongest Capcom has been in terms of their output and their their legacy games that they have been able to create. Um, they still do some uh, some great stuff, but for the most part, they're pretty good. And Capcom is also aware of their global audience and global sensitive are trying to make sure that what they depict in their games will be something that representative of people from that particular culture to the best of their abilities. And there's always going to be a little bit of caricature. There's always going to be a little bit of, you know, some sussy stuff going in there. But I like to believe that it's not coming from a place of malice. You know, I like to believe that it's coming from a place of, you know, this is a wild, wacky world. And these are these characters that are making up the world, not really intentionally designed to be bad. And yes, intentions doesn't mean it won't be a problem. But I, what I, that's what I personally believe of Capcom. I do not work for Capcom. I am not speaking on behalf of Capcom. I am giving you just my my opinion on what I think Capcom is going to do. And that leads to me saying that Resident Evil 5, when it gets remade, because it's all going to be remade, is going to hew close to those sensibilities that we have now. So no more uh, Sheva Alomar and her tribal sexy girl girl outfit. Definitely going to do more with expanding Sheva's role, uh, um, giving her more history, uh, giving her more gravitas than she had in Resident Evil 5 back in 09. They're going to do the same thing for Josh. They're going to probably do the same thing for the village, same thing for the people of the village. Same, you're probably going to do the same thing for the people uh, in the small villages on the marsh as well. They're going to do more. Basically what I'm saying is they're going to do more with expanding these elements similar to how they did with Resident Evil 4 Remake, where, you know, you 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 learn about how... Um, God, what's his name? I forgot his name. The Big Cheese. I forgot his name. I'll probably put a little edit there with his name on there. How he was, you know, a good man. You know, that these people were just good people. And that was in Resident Evil 4 OG, where you had the woodblock ending, where you showed that they just were a humble, quiet people in, you know, in Europe that were just minding their own business before Umbrella came in there and fucked their shit up. Umbrella and Tricell and Wesker They've all been allegories through the Nazis. They've all been allegories to eugenics. They've always been about the master race or whatever the hell they want to call it. They've always been that. And so the elements of them poaching the land and abusing the people and taking, you know, what they've done to these people and using them as a testbed for just their experiments is on par with what the Nazis and what they believed in because that's pretty much what umbrella was made up from um and i want them to keep that i want them to keep that element in there and show how evil umbrella is you should not root for umbrella as as iconographic as it is you should not root for umbrella they're not good people and i think capcom won't take that away and i don't want them to take that away i want this village of people to be a victims of Umbrella and Tricell's evil. And if Capcom wants to weave in a more uh, timely message about, you know, global politics, about, you know, warfare, about poverty, they can. Uh, I think they can. I, I think they can. They probably won't, but I think they can. So uh, long story short, <laughs> I do not think Resident Evil 5 is racist. As a, as a person of color, I do not think Resident Evil 5 is racist. I do think Resident Evil 5 is problematic. And that those problematic elements uh, will be excised in the remake. Um, and I trust Capcom and let them cook. <laughs> Basically, let them cook. If you feel otherwise, that's completely valid. You're allowed to think that way. But coming from my perspective, with the fans of Resident Evil 5, with the bi POC people who played Resident Evil 5 for the last 15 plus years, from our experiences, it's just a wild, wacky era of Capcom and Resident Evil where. You can have Chris punch boulders and fight in a volcano <laughs> and just jam on rail carts. That's that was Resident Evil 5 for us. Um, so yeah, that's about it. That's my viewpoint. On it. I'm going to pass it over to Cabbage and uh, thanks. Do we feel that Resident Evil 5 should be remade? Yes, it should be, be, be remade. Should it be re rewritten? A la akin to like a Final Fantasy Rebirth, where we're adding context, more nuances to things that we haven't explored within the original. 
Most definitely. Yeah, to appeal to a mass audience, yes. But I don't think it should be re rewritten to exclude it out of Africa. I don't think it should be rewritten to negate the fact that what Tricell, what Umbrella has done, not only to Africa, but the world, basically going into uh, villages, going into cities, creating towns and economies only for the sole purpose of testing those inhabitants. I don't think that should be removed from the remake of Resident Evil 5. So, so I'm just gonna wrap up in closing. Do we feel it's racist? No, no. In the context of what the game is supposed to be about, no. Are there problematic elements in Resident Evil 5? Yes, but they serve the story. They're not just there to say, well, there's that ninja over there, dirty ninja over there, or there, there, there's those people, you know, you know, playing hip hop and, you know, there, there's none of that, there's none of that desi uh, der derisive type content within that game. There's p problematic elements that we view today that were also problematic back in the day, but I don't think that should define the quality and what Resident Evil 5 provided for the world. Um, Sam, so I'm gonna shut up um, and pass off to Goose. See, she has any closing um, comments. Uh. <laughs> I I think that the discussion on diversity in gaming and positive representation in video game is a good one. It's been mired in shit over the last five or six years. People have their agendas. The grifting got to keep grifting, uh, and it can be it can get all up and around your ears. And I can understand why people are just exhausted and just want to shut up and just you know shut up and ball. We just want to play the fucking game. But diversity and representation in gaming and in media is important. It is important. It's also important for people currently. If you're making a game that is a for a global audience, mm -hmm. you do have to pay attention to those sensitivities. It doesn't mean you need to neuter your game. No one's asking anyone to neuter their game. But we it is important that you understand what might fly well in Japan may not fly well to the global stage. And the issues with racism and colorism and issues like that in Japan, they're there. They are plenty of, you know, half that are in Japan can tell you uh, that they experience racism. Um, the larger point for Resident Evil 5 is that avoiding remaking Resident Evil 5 is stupid. That's dumb. That's the dumbest thing you're ever going to fucking see. They're, it's, it doesn't make any sense. They're going to remake Resident Evil 5. But they're going to remake Resident Evil 5 with A, a larger understanding about the global audience, B, way more uh, uh, very professional, very, my words are failing me. <laughs> they're going to have the same quality and care that we've gotten from the remake, Sam 3, is going to be with Resident Evil 5. If you like what they've done with the characters, and if you're a Resident Evil fan mm -hmm. and you like what they've done with the characters in Resident Evil Remake, then you're going to be satisfied with what they do in Resident Evil 5. And as a person who has loved what they've done with the characters in Resident Evil uh, uh, Remake, I look forward to seeing, you know, and Kev, Kev Babbage as well, I look forward to seeing what they plan on doing with these characters that I cared for and have them updated in with the modern era. Um, that unfortunately if for those that means that a lot of the edge might get removed that is that is just the, that's the payoff we get because the other payoff that we get is we wind up getting a well-founded well-researched well-rounded mm -hmm. characters a more engrossing storyline a more leaner game mm -hmm. because let's be honest here a lot of parts around the five that we can cut the whole fucking chase. Yeah, I just yeah, yeah, I hate God that. God damn that chase! Yeah. You know, if you you know when you kill the giant, you yeah, the fucking chase, yeah. you chase. You know, there are a lot of aspects that they can cut away and clean, and that's kind of the basis for remakes. Remakes are there to prove their existence, mm -hmm. and so by having people say, "Well, it can't be. We don't want it to be made." It's it's it to me personally, it's short sighted. It's short sighted. Allow Capcom to fix their mistakes. Yes, yeah. yeah. Allow them that chance. If if you've played a Capcom game, if you've seen Capcom as, they are very hip with the brothers, okay? <laughs> Resident Evil, not Resident Evil, Street Fighter Six is very much urban, yeah. <laughs> okay? Mm -hmm. they, they, are, they are hip with us, with, with, with the, with of the, the boys. Of the of the, they are in with the culture, as it were. And I think we should allow Capcom to put what they have learned because it's been 
nearly 15 plus years since Resident Evil 5 came out, y'all. Many of you who are probably going to be watching this um, video were born in 2009. Yeah. We are so old. Yeah. We need to start allowing people to evolve mm -hmm. and make changes. Yep. We cannot just say, if you did this one thing 20 years ago and it's bad, then this is how it's going to be for the rest of your yeah. life. And Resident Evil is important to gaming. Capcom is important to game. Resident Evil 5 is important to the franchise yes. as a whole. Regardless of how you yeah. fucking feel about it, it is important to the franchise as a whole. And it deserves a chance to be done with brand new eyes touching. Brand new people who are playing mm -hmm. this game need to experience it. Brand new people who, are, who create the game need to create it. And we need to give them that chance to do it. So saying, you know, with respect to the IGN people, with respect to any of the critics out there, I hear you, yeah. I respect you, but I don't agree with you. I agree with parts of what you're saying, but letting the few sour parts in Resident Evil 5 doom the game mm -hmm. to not being remade mm -hmm. is dumb. Mm -hmm. It's really fucking stupid. Because if that was the fucking case, we wouldn't have Rebirth, okay? <laughs> we would not, if they said Barrett Wallace is way too controversial as a black character to be made, we would not have Remake or Rebirth. And look at where we're going with now. Mm -hmm. So uh, that's my thoughts on it. You are free to feel how you feel. It doesn't matter how we feel because it's happening anyway. Yeah. The, the Capcom does not give us. They're going to do whatever they want. But as one black person, my brother, also the black person, I feel that Resident Evil 5 can evolve. And I want to see Capcom do it. And I think they are allowed to go ahead and do it. So that's my thoughts. Yep, exactly. exactly. Um, that's pretty much all we wanted to talk about. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, uh, I wish it was deeper than that. Yeah, 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 I wish it was deeper than that. I mean, it could be deeper. But that's not where we we're trying to go no. with this. We were trying to just no. point out something from our perspective where we've seen a lot of perspectives online that haven't really talked about it with the black lens. And like I said, we're not representing all black people in the entire world. No. We're just giving, like 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 Goose said, our perspective for being Western black people that are that love games. So yeah. Thank you so much, Goose, for, for stopping by. <laughs> Check out her channel. She has a lot of great content. The Citrus Scale, I'll post it. Uh, link in the comments in the description um and like i said thank you guys all for your support if you like this video please like share subscribe i really appreciate it and we're out Bye. Peace.